Welcome back in. When it comes to sports, Ohio is a football state, and that's shown once again in the latest sports betting revenue. The figures were released this afternoon. As News 5's John Kosick tells us, the return of college and pro football in September meant the return of thousands of sports bettors drawn to their apps by the action on the gridiron. When sports betting launched in Ohio in January, the state produced jaw-dropping numbers with more than $1.1 billion wagered that month alone. But it was a figure that by June had shrunk by 67 percent. Sportsbook operators, though, weren't panicked. They had their eye on September for one reason. Touchdown! Football. Football is circled on everyone's calendar, fans and states alike. Because, well, it, it, it rules everything in sports betting. When a sports better logs into their account, their location is checked by a company called GeoComplied. It makes sure that the better is in the state and can legally place a bet. This is what that looked like when sports betting launched on January 1st. And this is what it looked like the first week of the NFL season in September. Just released revenue figures for September show in Ohio it was the third best month for sports betting tax revenue behind that January launch and March Madness and just ahead of the number one bet upon game of the year. The Super Bowl in February. The $690 million wagered in September was a roughly 55% jump over August. That September fell behind January is not a surprise, says industry analyst Robert Linehan. That's a record that may stand a while. You had sort of the perfect storm of this is the first month that the state is offering sports betting. It's during the football season. You had a lot going on that month. 97% of all bets in September were placed online. That means brick and mortar sports books account for just 3% of the market. And Caesar Sports Book inside Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, for example, has actually paid out more in winnings in June, July, and August than they took in in bets. Their luck reversed in September, and Lenahan suspects it will likely continue with the calf season now underway. There are going to be thousands of people there you know, during the week when over the summer, if you were going to go, you were going just to bet on sports. Uh, you know, they were sort of your hardcore sports bettors. And a lot going on in October, heading into November to challenge those September numbers with football enhanced by the return of the NBA and the ongoing World Series. In Cleveland, John Kasich, News 5. And remember, the state recently doubled the tax they collect from sports books from 10 to 20 percent. So that means 16.3 million for state coffers.